Hi everyone, this is Dan, and this is Nora Saga uh, by Allegiance Arts and Entertainment, uh, written by Blake Northcott and art by Kelsey Shannon. Uh, looks like also uh, lettering by uh, the the letter of Comicsgate, Mr. Eric Weathers. Uh, so Allegiance Arts, uh, as far as I know, and I'm not you know 100% clear on this. I just saw this on Indiegogo and thought this, uh, I got the three pack away, by the way, so I have the, the other two, uh, comics as well, and I'll review them and do, uh, their own videos. I just wanted to do Nora Saga first because I liked Kelsey Shannon's art in Jawbreakers, and, uh, I decided, uh, hey, I'm gonna pick this up and see, see where it goes from here. And my understanding of Allegiance Arts is it is a company founded by, uh, Mitch Brettweiser, or Brettweiser? Brettweiser? Brettweiser. I think it's Brett Weiser. Uh, if I'm wrong, uh, sorry, Mitch. <laughs> uh, and uh, he's known for, uh, at least in the Indiegogo comic skate crowd, he's known for the story, uh, what's it called? Uh, sorry, uh, it's uh, Red Rooster, yeah. And uh, there's a little bit of controversy, or controversy, bursy, yeah, of uh, how long it's taking Red Rooster to come out. And I'm not privy to that because I didn't back Red Rooster, so I don't really know what's going on. I just backed this thing uh, several months ago, and it came out in a reasonable amount of time, so not bad. Uh, print quality is very good. Uh, it's it's a pretty thick, uh, not cardstock, but thick weight paper. Uh, so it, this feels like it could take a beating, uh, which is good because uh, they're, as far as like these beginning packages, you know, uh, my understanding is Allegiance Arts has a deal with Walmart, I believe. So they'll be, you should be able to get these at specific select Walmarts. I'm not sure how that's going to work out. And, you know, if I'm wrong, I apologize, but that's my understanding of what Allegiance Arts and what uh, Mitch Brettweiser is trying to do. Uh, best of luck to him. I've been to uh, several Walmarts in my area, and I don't think I've ever seen a single comic in, in any of them. So if I see Allegiance Art, uh, I think I'll take a picture of it just just to be amazed that I've seen a comic in a in a Walmart. Uh, they say DC is in Walmart, but I've never seen them. Uh, anyhow, Nora Saga, sorry, review starts in uh, two minutes. <laughs> starting to uh, starting to turn into your boy Zach. Anyway, Nora Saga is uh, basically about this young girl, Nora. Uh, she is a uh, Canadian. Uh, from Newfoundland, I believe, and I think they, uh, and then this is her father, Peter, and her mother, Bianca, and these are the two Viking characters, uh, this is Torg, I believe, and this is Astrid. Uh, anyhow, so, Nora Saga, uh, it kind of starts off with kind of fun joking, and you get an introduction of, of Nora and her family, uh, her father, Peter, her mother, Bianca, and uh, they're in a museum talking about, you know, Viking stuff and whatnot. We also get keyed in that they're from Newfoundland and they're Canadian. And then you get this conversation back and forth where her mother's explaining the origins of Loki and some uh, Norse mythology. Uh, and then you find out uh, that it was all sort of a dream and her mother's actually uh, passed away. I'm going to skip several pages, by the way, because I don't want to give away everything. Uh, just because I, I do would I would like when it comes to these comic skate books, I am a little more uh, aware that uh, they're kind of rare. So uh, and I also want people to support them. So you know, it, 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 I'm gonna kind of be jumping around. Anyhow, anyhow, the first half of the book is kind of teenage drama stuff, and essentially what it, what it is is it's kind of exploring her life. She's kind of an, an outsider. Uh, her father's moved her into a new city. She's having a hard time fitting in because she's uh, her dad's just a mechanic. She doesn't have a ton of money, uh, so you know they. Her dad tries to kind of uh, uh, cheer her up by taking her shopping. And while they're out shopping and everything, uh, her dad kind of gets distracted by her while they're driving. They uh, crash into a lake, and this in turn is what starts her sort of. Uh, her uh, sort of weird travel, it's not really explained, but she gets transported, I guess, into time, into uh, Norse uh, uh, Winland, which I didn't know it's actually pronounced Winland, according to the 
information uh, back here. I always said Vinland, because <laughs> it reminds me of Vinland Saga, the manga, and I've always pronounced it that way, but I guess I was 100% wrong. Anyhow, uh, uh, for those of you who may not remember history, uh, the Vikings uh, first landed in Canada in Newfoundland area, and so there's a lot of evidence of their of their time uh, invading North America, being the first ones to be in North America. And so uh, after crashing through a lake, she gets uh, transported uh, when she gets pulled out of the lake by Vikings. And uh, it's, it's kind of like this uh, never-ending story, fish out of water uh, sort of uh, scenario. Uh, but the writing by Blake Northcott is fantastic. By the way, uh, this is the panel I chose for the art. Uh, actually... Uh, pr did a pretty bad job, not gonna lie, her face is totally wrong. I think the only one I did actually a decent job was Astrid, but I really goofed up Nora right here. Oh well, uh, yeah, Kelsey Shannon's a good artist and I am not. <laughs> That's the summary of that. Uh, but I guess I'll, I'll get to the gist because I don't want to give away. It's only 24 pages and it is modern comic book writing, which is what I really wanted to mention right here. So, what do I mean by modern comic book writing? Uh, it's, it's somewhat decompressed. And because of that, the story that is introduced in Nora's saga is not, uh, it's not completed in this issue. And it sounds like, at least with the style that I'm seeing from the writer, it's not going to be completed in the next couple issues either. Uh, in fact, I, I actually kind of uh, wish that they would have done like maybe a double issue because you could have you could have got more. One complaint I have about this is there's not a not lot of Vikings when she finally gets to the Viking world, right? And uh, it, it kind of limits how much action occurs. Uh, action does occur and there, and stuff happens in this comic. It just is slightly decompressed, and that's just the style of the day like most people do not do compressed uh storytelling anymore in comics which is unfortunate uh and that's probably my biggest complaint is i just you know i always get i i never i don't know i always have a slight annoyance when a comic just makes me like oh you want the rest of the story go get the next issue ah <laughs> you know or just give me a really good story in one issue and i'll go buy the next one that you release because i like the characters but you know, that's just not popular anymore, so I don't know what to say. But I will say, art by Kelsey Shannon, fantastic. Uh, writing by, by Blake Northcott is still very good. Uh, there's nothing annoying about her her dialogue or her narration. Actually, in general, there's very little narration. That's another thing. Uh, definitely modern comic book writing because absolutely no narration. Uh, which, again, you know, it's not bad. Dialogue-driven... Uh, uh, stories can still be really good. Uh, I just feel like I would, you know, some things would probably be better uh, left to narration rather than dialogue, especially her being a teenage, uh, being, you know, kind of your angsty teenage. I think narration would actually work better in certain areas more than dialogue. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, Blake Northcott's, her writing's still fantastic, so nothing really fundamentally wrong other than I'm just a little frustrated that it's not a complete story and I gotta go get the next issue. So that's a bit frustrating, uh, not gonna lie. But otherwise, uh, let's see, let's see how I did. Uh, I still don't like it. I, I think I got Astrid pretty well, but I really fucked up here. Ah. Uh, one thing about practicing art is you get humbled all the time. <laughs> and uh, I thought I was getting good. I, I think I drew Raphael pretty good last time. And uh, now I realize, nope, you still suck. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, that's the review. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you liked it, please hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Hit the bell for notifications. If you have any comments on... Uh, Nora Saga, uh, Legion's Arts, uh, Kelsey Shannon, Blake Northcott, uh, Mitch Brettweiser, or my uh, uh, extremely disappointing art, uh, leave them down below, and uh, I will see you next time.